cold in the tr I'm back. Road trance on a couple of different things. Uh, number one, I want to cover Doomcock's rumor from his sources. Just give you my take, what I think, what makes sense, what I haven't heard, what I have heard. Um, and I want to talk about a potential Lando Calrissian series coming out a spinoff of Solo. Ugh. <laughs> which, which makes you really wonder about the George Lucas thing, right? So make sure this is the new channel for pop culture, Star Wars, horror movies, uh, trailer reactions. This is basically the old channel, okay? The main channel or the adjacent channel. I don't want to call it the main channel because um, they're both going to get priority. They are. So, and, and so hit subscribe. Let, let's talk about Lando first. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Do I think this has a chance of happening? Probably. Yeah, I do. And um, look, I've said I enjoyed Solo. I enjoyed it. But is there a need necessarily for a sequel? Not to Solo. Now, the story I want to see is Kira and Darth Maul. I want to see Darth Maul. I want to see Ray Park come back as Darth Maul live action. That's what I would like to see. If they're going to do anything coming out of Solo, that is the story I want to see. I thought, personally, and all the social justice warriors kissed his ass, I thought Donald Glover was okay at best. And unfortunately for him and the movie, they can thank John Kasdan for him just being quote unquote okay. Okay? It was it was his story that he wrote as good as his father is, he is not his father. He's not. He's not Lawrence. Uh you can tell Lawrence has more of a grip on Han. I mean, George always said Lawrence is really the Han guy. Um so, and I think it's one of the reasons why Harrison agreed to do the Force Awakens, actually. Now, what I will say is people forget that when uh, Disney bought Lucasfilm, Solo was a story that George had wrote. That was his story. Now, I don't know if that's what actually happened or what made the screen, but he had he, he one of his things he had in the cupboard was a Solo Star Wars movie. Now, to Doomcock's rumor. For full disclosure, I love Doomcock. I watch him religiously. He's like, you know, here's the thing about sources. Sources can be right. Sources can be wrong. I've got a couple of good sources that have proved to me that they are who they say they are. And the reason I got those sources is because, essentially, I was the first. And they... Both subscribed to me very early on, 300 and something subs. The reason why is because I was the only YouTube channel covering The Mandalorian at one time. I was the first one. And I actually thought it would blow Rhodes Rants up, and it just didn't. It, the Mandalorian did not blow up my channel at all. If I had to guess, I'd say The Mandalorian was responsible for 100 new subs. So, and, and that's considering The Mandalorian's really good. But it did not blow up the channel like I thought it would. But, I had leaked some stuff. I had tracked down some leaks. And I put some stuff up on a video. And I got asked to take it down. <laughs> because I was right. I had gotten a hold of something that was right. And uh, I said, and there was somebody's neck on the line. Uh, because of the leak. And I said, yeah, I'll take it down. And because of that, I was able to sort of build some stuff there, okay, that helped me later. And so, there are some things I do know about. Now, I have not heard the George Lucas is coming back thing. However, I've got a very good friend of the channel. We talk a lot about the behind the scenes 
Disney, Lucasfilm, et cetera, et cetera. She also has sources. She says that George is already involved, but it's in a, a it could be in an advisory capacity. Now, let me tell you, and I know a lot of people have come out and said, flat, this is not happening. Well, there are some things that are certainly accurate. Kathleen Kennedy is not long for the company. She's not. I originally thought it would just, her contract would expire and that would be it. And she would, I, it's my belief she actually is not even involved anymore. I don't think Kathleen Kennedy's involved. Or if she is, she doesn't have a lot of power. Maybe no power. I mean, have we actually seen... And look, three Star Wars movies just got pushed back a year. Is it from the pandemic? Or what? Do we even know? Is it because of, of the situation with theaters? Or is it because of creative issues? Is it because of leadership? Well, we know there's a lot of leadership failures. Let me tell you why George coming back makes all the sense in the world. We've got a split in the fan base. You've got about 60% of the fans that were completely out on the sequels. By the time the Rise of Palpatine come out, we were done. Completely done. We were done with The Last Jedi. And then you got 40% of the fans that I call logo lovers. And up in the corner of my screen there, I always do that. You know where I mean. Right up here. There's a Star Wars logo. If they see Star Wars logo, they love it. It doesn't matter what piece of horse shit trash it is. They will not demand excellence and they will not demand they will not be objective about the state of Star Wars. They will not. They're logo lovers. I once made a video about it. And Thor Skywalker watched it. And it's, it's Star Wars fans that will blindly... Their answer to everything is, but it's Star Wars. What's not to love? Well, a lot. A lot. There's a lot not to love. Anything involving the sequels is what, what's not to love. You've got a very, very poor hero in that in Ray. It's a poorly, it's a, the whole thing was poorly done. Not having a singular, not using George's treatments, not having a singular story. We can go on and on into that. I mean, good God, I've got 100 videos on that on the old channel or the other channel. Uh, and no, I won't be moving old videos over. I will not. I decided I won't do that. Uh, just go to the regular Rhodes Ranch channel. And you can watch all kinds of old Star Wars videos. I mean, good God, there's 500 over there. Here's why it makes sense. Because of the split in the fandom, George is the one person that can bring the fandom back together. George is the one person that everybody has confidence in. Look, there's a number of people. Let's just take the fandom menace. Many of us are still in or out on Dave Filoni now. Okay? That's it just in the fandom menace. So, you know, like Thor Skywalker is a huge Dave Filoni guy. I like Dave. I just don't believe he's a number one. He's a follower, not a leader. Okay? So, if you ask me, do you want Dave Filoni running Star Wars? No, I don't. Can he be a number two or a number three? Yeah, probably. He needs a strong figurehead to follow and influence him. Lucas, John Favreau. So, if I was Disney, if I was Disney, and you guys know, I've been banging the John Favreau drum. I have. What I would do I would go back to George, and I'd say, look, this didn't work out. 
And we know from leaks, George wanted to stay involved. He wanted creative control of Star Wars even after selling to Lucas, Luke, uh, to Disney. He wanted to keep creative control. And obviously, it was a huge mistake that they didn't let him do it. So, if you're Disney, why wouldn't you go to George and say, we paid $4 billion for this thing, and it's just floundering right now. We got a split fandom. Financially, long term for Star Wars, it would make all the sense in the world for them to get George back as Lucasfilm president. It makes sense. If I was a company, I'd be calling him every week trying to get him to take that job. I would. Because I know... The only way to maximize dollars with Star Wars is that your leader is w the one person everybody's got faith in. Look, there's still people that don't think John Favreau should do it. You know, now I'm of the opinion, look, if you aren't on board with John, Star, you may never be on board again. Because I think it's clear, John, John Favreau knows his Star Wars. He does. And he's old school on top of it. And he's got a great relationship with George. You know, there's speculation. Uh, I heard that Kathleen, that Baby Yoda was Kathleen Kennedy's idea. That was not Kathleen Kennedy's idea. That was in John Favreau's original treatments that he wrote before he ever took them to Disney. That was not her idea. It wasn't. Uh, so, if she's running around claiming that, then, then I'm sure John Favreau hates her guts. Because that's an out-and-out -out lie. That's an out-and-out -out lie. It was always a take on Lone Wolf and Cub. So, do I think George is back? I don't know. Do I think he's back as Lucasfilm president? No. Uh... Do I think he could be back as some kind of advisory? Yes. Do I think there's a chance, a small chance, George could come back, take the president job, John Favreau work under George as number two, Dave Filoni as number three, and then when George is ready to retire, he passes it on to John, to John Favreau. Or maybe at that point, Dave Filoni. Who knows? It may be Dave. Maybe Dave can can get his balls out of uh, out of his purse, Kathleen Kennedy's purse. No, out of his purse. God damn it! I'm sorry. Look, I like Dave Filoni, but I, I got to keep it real. He he has said some things that just rubbed me the wrong way. Tell me what you think, Road Squadron. Do you think George Lucas is coming back? Is he already back? I've heard he's already involved. Not as Lucasfilm president, but I heard he's already involved. In some way, right now. I actually have thought, let's be honest, I thought he was involved with the, I bet he was involved with all of the Mandalorian. Because there's fingerprints of George all over it including Baby Yoda. I've heard Baby Yoda was George's idea. Or Favreau and George together. That Favreau was thinking, hey, I'm going to have a baby in this, and George literally said, why don't you make it the Yoda species? It's a little something not everybody knows, but I knew. So, anyway, there you go. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.